So making a pencil with my son is something I've had in my mind as a fun thing for us to do for quite a while. Uh, and being locked down together affords all the time in the world to do such a thing. So I uh, finally got around to going for it. And we had a lot of fun. Uh, what you see us doing now is gluing up the two halves of the pencil with a little glue up jig that I made. Uh, and this video is also about how I'm starting to make those on my own. Uh, first to include with the next 10 purchases of the pencil kit, see link in description, but also to sell to folks who want to buy it and have a nice thing to glue up the, the pencil boys. Link in description for that as well. And it seemed only natural to make the pencil presses out of Bacote because that's gonna match the rails of the pencil making kit. And it turns out that's what Lincoln wanted for his pencil also. So lots of Bacote flying around in this video. All right, so dude, this is gonna be your pencil. So how about you pick the wood that you want for it? This one right here? All right, that's, uh, this is Bacote. Which one? Which two? Hey Lincoln. Huh? Who's your favorite YouTuber? Uh, Bobby Duke. So since I'm going to be making a lot of these pencil presses, I need a good production system and luckily the sled that I made to process the rough sawn lumber for the pencil kit rails was also the exact right size that I needed for the pencil presses. So I used that to give me the starting blanks and then sized them and drilled some holes uh, for the bolts that are used for the clamping power. So the base of the pencil press needs to be a lot more substantial than the top because there's a camber on the, the top of the press and I want the top to be bending and not the bottom. But I also want it to be easy to put the pencil in and, and get it out so that the base isn't a lot wider than the pencil blank. So I did that with chamfers on each side and having the base pieces constrained by feather boards uh, in both directions when I was doing this really made this cut a lot uh, safer and more consistent uh, and less prone to lifting up and issues like that. So the two feather boards were nice to have in this case. Now I drilled the holes for the heads of the bolt a little bit smaller diameter than the major diameter of the hexagonal shape. 
uh, which means that it will cut into the wood, the bolt will cut into the wood when it's tightened, uh, but not enough to split it and cause problems, but definitely enough to lock it in. So I just tighten it down and pull that bolt into the wood and then put a little bit of glue on the tops to reinforce the fibers and keep it there. Uh, and these will stay there forever and not be tempted to turn when you're tightening it down. We're going to push it over that tiny little router bit while it spins real fast and it's going to cut a half circle. And we'll just speed through the glue up since you already saw it at the beginning. So the first thing, see that hole that we made on the end? Mm -hmm. Go right on here and then you push, see how that's springy? You push it down and then you put it in that one. Nothing. Think you can do that? I think so. Why is it not looking for me? Help a little bit. Go ahead. I want to hear you push. There you go. Nice. So I haven't talked about this yet. This helps set the knives of the pencil tool in a little bit better. You can also just kind of push. But I figured I'd let him do the tap. And you can eat it. And you can eat it. You keep the plane against this right here. Push all the way down to try to take some wood off the pencil. Okay. That's it. I did it. Now. I did it again. So I needed a pretty specific profile on both the top and the bottom of the upper part of the pencil press so that it gives equal pressure across the whole length of the blank. So this comes down to uh, a camber on the bottom side and a little bit of a profile to relieve some of the material at the ends on the top. So I made this router sled with different profiles on each side. Uh, to quickly clamp the top blanks, the top press blanks, uh, into place and shape them on a bearing guided router bed. And as it turns out, this material that I'm removing from the top is a little bit too much to try to hog it all off 
with the router bit in one pass. You can see how dicey that is. So I cut proud of the line with the bandsaw first, then put it in the form, and it worked much better. The other side, I'm taking off a small enough amount of material that I can just go straight to the router bit. You know why I wanted a band Why? Um, I to give it to Mama. All right. Well, if you're going to want to give it to Mom, maybe you should ask her if she wants a painted or not. Okay, I'll go ask her. All right. The way this works, we're going to put this in first. Okay. okay. So I'll hold this. You put some glue in that hole. Uh, yeah, you got some in there. Now put a little bit on this face of it. Okay. I uh, know. You can do it. Uh, nice, dude. You're doing so good. Okay, that's okay. enough. That's plenty. Now take the pencil eraser and stick it in there and get the flat spots lined up. There we go. So, I'm the boss here. So now, Mr. Boss around here, could you put some glue in here? <gasps> you gotta move kind of fast. Put a little bit of glue in there. Fine. I'll spin it around to help you. Doesn't take much. Okay, that's enough. Now stick the eraser in real fast before it dries. Push. Nice. Good work. Now you have a pencil. Oop, we'll squeeze out. We'll take care of that. He said, I'm not going in there. Ah! So the last step is to put a little bit of cork rubber on the top of the press just so that the blank stays in place as it's being tightened down. Uh, then assemble it and test it out and, and uh, sand down the corners and put a little bit of finish on. I'm using Alfie Shine, which I really like. This is what I use for the pencil uh, tool rails. I use a little bit of heat just to soften it up and make it go a little bit faster. So there it is, perfect match with the pencil making tool. Get yours today. So what do you think, buddy? Should people stuck at home buy a pencil making kit to make pencils with their little boys? Mm -hmm. Some, sometimes. Sometimes? Yeah, yes. Did you burp? Yes, when I said yes. I said, <laughs> well, there you have it, strong endorsement.